No, I guess you can come off the wall here. It'd be kind of bad if you did. Just come on. <laughs> I'm floating. Uh, maybe I'll just come up, jump over here. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hey, Chad Carter here with ChadCarter.net and LearnHolllens.com. And let me tell you, I'm pretty excited because last Tuesday, I got my Acer Mixed Reality headset. It's pretty awesome. I was able to get it from the early adopter program. And now this Tuesday, so August 1st, I got my HP Mixed Reality headset. Now this one I actually purchased. I actually ordered both. Don't tell Microsoft. I actually ordered both. But when I was accepted to the early access program and found out about last week, um, on Monday I went ahead and canceled my Acer and sure enough it showed up the next day. So I got a free one, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but now I got to deliver on what I told Microsoft I would do. But the HP one, I went ahead and you know kept that on my order and that showed up today. And so let's go ahead and do the unboxing. So we see the HP box, we'll pull it out here. That's only thing that's in there, which is good. Okay. So, Windows Mixed Reality Headset, Developer Edition, with a nice logo down here. All right, so let's take a look. Yay. Ooh. Inside the box, you see the Like that. I'm hearing a. Hope that's all right. Should be packed all right, but yeah, there's something loose in here. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous to see what was uh, what was being loose down here. So I got a little black, little black thing. So I'm not sure. It might just be part of the cable or something. I'm not sure. It doesn't make me feel good that this was kind of jingling around in there. So the lenses have this protector film on. I don't know if you actually see it or not, but over here on the side, you can actually uh, pull that off. Okay. So, but I am concerned about this piece here. Like, I don't know what it's for, um, but it doesn't look anything, doesn't look like anything's broken on the front. There's also uh, some tape kind of protective covering around here. So that's good. I'm going to set this down to figure out what it is. Oh, I found it. I figured it out. Look at the top. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, let's see if we can get some light on there maybe. Alright, so do you see how this side over here near my thumb has like a covering? And this side over here does not, so that's why it goes on. So I'm gonna pop, pop that on real quick. Well, it slid right on, but it'll slide right back off too. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, it does, it slides right back on, but it will just slide right back off, and I don't see a way to twist it to make it stay. Uh, but it's just a cosmetic piece, so it's not, not a big deal. Obviously, I prefer if it hadn't have fallen off, but that's all right. All right, so. I'm going to go ahead and take off the other uh, blue part of the lens here. Just got that off. And the difference, one difference between the HP and the Acer is the HP has a detachable cable, right? So I'll actually be able to, if I wanted to, go walk around with this on my head still. Rather than just taking off my head, I don't know if I'll use that a lot, but it's nice to have the option either way. Uh, that because I'm assuming the rest of the box here I'll actually have the cord that'll go into here and I'll actually have the HDMI and USB side of there So let's actually take a look at that. But here's the uh, here's the headset and of course, you know pops up pops down Set this down here gently 
So I pulled that out. This is what's kind of left in the box here. Okay. So I'm just pull out the centerpiece, and that's the rest of the cable, right? So we have um, USB and HDMI, right? So HDMI and USB three, and then this side here is what's going to plug into the headset. Okay. So that's good. And then we have a uh, instruction manual and warranty. So there's that. And I believe that's all that's going to be in the box. I don't think it would need anything else. Yeah, it's just it's just cardboard. Just cardboard at this point, empty cardboard. Not that you can see that, but that's what it is. Okay. So I'm going to put this thing together and let's see what we have. So we're back in the house. Yay. Now I guess you can come off the wall here. That'd be kind of bad if you did. Just come on. <laughs> I'm floating. Uh, maybe I'll just come up, jump over here. There we go. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And... <laughs> uh, that'd be bad. So I'm just, you know what? This kind of feels a little weird, I must say. Yeah, it feels a little bit weird. Let's see. But so this is the, what I'm using here is the actual HP Mixed Reality headset. And I can hit my uh, bumpers to kind of change the direction I'm looking. And then I hit Y to kind of teleport where I want to be. And so this is where I was um, yesterday. Let me do this so I can kind of face where I want to be. All right, so this is where I was yesterday. And, you know, I put up uh, kind of Forza Apex with, um, I say yesterday. It was last week, actually. But either way, this is where I was uh, before when I was doing the Acer Mixed Reality headset. And I had the uh, Forza Apex on so down here, down the uh, theater, is the Xbox app. And so I've hooked up um, my Xbox. So I've never played this before, and I figured, you know what? Instead of just playing it, why not play it on a mixed reality headset? Now, obviously, this is not its you know, a VR experience. I'm in my little you know, theater here. And I'm playing it on the Xbox One, streaming it over. And uh, so, yeah, let's see how it works. So I was streaming a game from the Xbox One to my PC and then actually looking at that through this mixed reality device. And it was pretty awesome. Now, if you're interested in watching the actual gameplay, I have a pretty long video of me playing that game because I was actually streaming it. And then I went back and edited it and uploaded a video here to YouTube. Not my typical videos um, is gameplay, but you know you might at least enjoy watching part of it while um, I was playing it with this headset on. So there'll be a link to that in the description. But again, it's just simply uh, Shadow Tactics on the Xbox. So by all means, check out those videos. I typically do weekly videos on the Hall Lens. Uh, I'm releasing a couple videos today all about these mixed reality headsets and I may end up start filtering in some of these videos as well with the Hall lens is doing these uh, mixed reality devices so we'll see how that goes so if you like videos about the Hall lens and about these mixed reality devices uh, by all means hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video